it's Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel. I know you read the title and you're thinking wigs, yes. I will be reviewing 10 wigs after I wash and prep my hair for the application. I just wanted to film this video as one, some wash day motivation. I know many of you love my wash days because they're informative, they give you great options of products to use. Also for my tips, you find them very helpful amongst other motivating and encouraging attributes that I get for my wash days. Two, I know I'm going to receive a lot of questions on how I prep my hair and scalp prior to applying these wigs. And three, I've already started my fitness routine, well, more like resumed my fitness routine, and yes, I am recording it. I already have three videos recorded. I'm so excited for you to see my home gym, the setup, and like my first week, how I'm working out, what I'm doing, all of that. Stay tuned. There's so much more content coming your way from my experience already. You could already see the back of my hair because when I work out, I sweat. Like, I sweat and I like it because it lets me know that I'm making some progress and it just gives me motivation to continue going. Like, I'm not stopping. I have my home gym already built. I'm just so excited to be on this path and lose some more weight and be motivational for you. So thankful that I'm able to do this and share it with you. And many of you see me as motivation and that just makes it so worth it. And I may wear a wig like once a week. And quick little story, when I first started my YouTube, I wanted to do more beauty, but as I've gotten older and the times have been changing, I've seen my channel as more of a vessel and I wanna be there for you. So if there's any videos that you want me to cover, you wanna see me do my take on it, please comment them down below so I can fulfill your request. And let's just get started. I wanna film this, braid my hair, see how these wigs, I've had these wigs for a couple weeks now and I just wanna try them on, see how they're gonna look. Let's just get started. I'm starting this wash day off in the shower and like I've already mentioned, the back of my hair is drier than normal and I attribute that to really working out in the gym, but nonetheless, I'm about to get my hair and scalp together. First, I'm gonna saturate my hair with warm water. This is really gonna help to gently detangle my hair and just give me some slip because I am going to be using a product to help further detangle my hair. I just really want my hair and scalp to be very healthy because I'm gonna be braiding my hair, wrapping it up for the next week at least to come. And of course, I separated my hair and my quadrants so I can focus on one section at a time because I really wanna give my hair the TLC it needs and deserves. The first product I'm gonna use is from Mono's Hair. This is her Scalp and Curl Clarifier and I love this product so much. I've been using it for the past three years. It has really helped my scalp health overall and also just getting product buildup and other buildup off of my hair and scalp. And it's very moisturizing. My hair never feels dry or stripped of any natural oils. And that's because this product contains great ingredients for my hair and scalp and of course I had to get some single strand knots in my hair not too many I would say about three but I was very gentle to remove it and this product also helps me to further detangle my hair which is another reason why I love it you could see how it's lathering up and it's not stripping at all I really want to stress that this gives me a great lather and so much slip which is why I wanted to use this as my pre shampoo treatment it really gets my curls together. And of course, I had to get another single strand knot, but I am being very gentle to remove this and just make sure that my hair is nice and smooth, which is another benefit that this product does give me. It helps to gently detangle my hair. It adds that moisture. You see my curls are bouncing back. It gives that elasticity. I would rate this a 10 out of 10. I did saturate my hair with a little bit more water, which is why I wanted to be in the shower. Typically, I miss my hair with a water bottle, but I just knew that wouldn't be enough and it would just be more convenient for me to saturate my hair in the shower. Look at how my curls, they are just so moisturized. And after applying my pre-poo treatment all over my hair, I am going to rinse it with warm water.
And my curls look and feel amazing. Now I'm gonna shampoo my hair with one of my favorite shampoos, the Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. I've been using this for years. Also, one of my favorite shampoos because it helps to clarify, moisturize, relieves dry, itchy scalp, and because of the ingredients, it helps to promote healthy hair growth. And I want to retain length. I will be trimming my hair very soon this week. So stay tuned for a video coming about that because I wanna give you an alternative and easier way to trim trim your hair because I know it could be a little bit intimidating, but I got you. To apply the shampoo and really get it working for me, I divided my hair in half. This is sufficient and also I saturated my hair with warm water. I find that by doing this, products just go a lot further no matter what product I'm using from wash day to even styling my hair. It's almost like adding that extra component of slip. And when it comes to our natural hair, that is amazing. We need all the slip that we can get and it just goes a lot faster when I divide my hair in half for shampoo. And because I always apply a a good amount I get a great lather regardless so I'm just making sure that I work the shampoo on my scalp all over and down the length of my hair and no it does not dry my hair out I am very careful of choosing the right product so my hair does not dry out I received several comments asking if my hair dries out because I use a lot of shampoo and work it down the length of my hair no it doesn't if it did I would not be using that product again and make sure to rinse all the shampoo out. You don't wanna leave any residue because it can and will cause scalp and hair irritation. Now that the shampoo is rinsed out, I'm gonna use my conditioner from Dove. This is their Amplified Texture Super Slip Detangling Conditioner. I love this so much because it's very moisturizing. It does have coconut milk in it and it also provides so much slip, which makes it very easy to detangle and my curls love it. And because this conditioner has so much slip, I'm able to just glide my fingers right through it and I don't need a lot, which is an added bonus after I make sure that my hair is coated with the conditioner it feels nice and soft and smooth I am going to use a wide tooth comb to further detangle and just make sure that my hair has absorbed the conditioner thoroughly and I'm going to twist my hair with the conditioner in it this is going to help further make sure that my curls are intact help with that elasticity and make sure that the conditioner stays in before I didn't twist my hair I would find that it just didn't feel that my hair was nourished enough but after I twisted my hair I go work on the other three sections of hair doing the same exact routine I find that my hair it just holds on to moisture so much better so I highly recommend for you to twist your hair with conditioner leave it in until you deep condition but for this routine I did not deep condition my hair but nonetheless twisting my hair with the conditioner in it helps tremendously And because I'm not gonna deep condition for this wash day routine, I'm using a plastic cap just like I would if I was deep conditioning my hair. I'll be using some very, very moisturizing products to braid my hair and I don't wanna add moisture overload because that can add another problem with elasticity and it is not good. But look at how moisturized my curls are and this is from the conditioner alone. So this is why I love this conditioner. It's very affordable too. And I'm rinsing this conditioner out with cold water. And I'm using my cotton t-shirt just to absorb the excess water, not moisture in my hair. And now it is time to style my hair into braids. Make sure that you are staying hydrated and drinking your water. To start styling, of course, I'm gonna section my hair in fours. This really helps me to manage my hair a lot better and just really focus on one section at hand. And overall, it's gonna give me the ability to give my hair and scalp so much TLC.
Now that I have my four sections established, I'm going to apply my leave-in conditioner. This one is from Carol's Daughter. It's their Goddess Strength Divine Strength Leave-In Cream. It really helps to moisturize my hair. It's very creamy. It has castor oil and black seed oil, and it also helps to make hair a lot stronger and more resistant to breakage so hair can maintain its length. And this is the whole reason why I am doing these protective styles and wearing wigs in the first place. If I just want to make sure that my hair stays nice and healthy under Underneath. Like I said, I'm not going to be wearing wigs all the time, just from time to time. And to help lock that moisture in, I'm using this Haitian black castor oil, mango papaya, and coconut oil from Creole Essence. It really provides intense repair, also helps to stimulate hair's growth. It controls the water loss in hair. You really want to make sure that you're holding on to that moisture, which is why I love using products like this and layering my products. So, yes, I use three products after I style my hair, but because I'm I'm layering it I'm able to retain that moisture so much better and lock that in this is why I do what I do and it helps so much when I just want to retain that moisture in my hair after I've applied my leave-in conditioner and oil I'm going to comb my hair with a wide tooth comb making sure that my hair is tangle free and smooth and I'm gonna repeat the same process on the other three sections All right, now for the fun part, I'm going to start braiding my hair and each quadrant is gonna have three braids in it. And for my styler slash moisturizer, because I can unravel the braids and have a braid out, but for now, I'm just gonna braid my hair for these wigs. I'm using the Uncle Funky's Daughter Super Curl Miracle Moisture Cream. I love it because it's a very creamy hydrator. It also helps to define curls. It softens the hair, makes sure that my hair doesn't get dry or brittle, and its consistency is so smooth and also, I've noticed when I do use this in my hair for protective styles, the moisture retention is on point. So I wanna make sure that my hair and scalp retains that moisture and doesn't get dry. So this is why I'm using this as my moisturizer more so than styler, but I'm going to braid my hair nice and taut. So I'm not pulling at my scalp, but I just wanna make sure that I'm braiding my hair very snug so that it can hold and not unravel.
And with the power of editing, the back section is complete and you can see a huge length difference right here with the braids. My right side just grows so much faster than the left side of my hair. I'm not sure why. I sleep equally on both sides. I'm just going to make sure that I trim my hair accordingly, but I just wanted to point that out if you didn't catch it already. And just like that, I'm completely finished 12 braids in my hair, three braids per quadrant. And I use five bobby pins just to pin my hair up. Because my hair is longer in the back, I didn't want it to show or look bumpy under the wig. So I'm just going to pin it up just like this in an X. And I use two bobby pins per side to make sure it stays nice and secure. And then for the front portion, I'm going to wrap it around the back end and secure it with a rubber band and to offset it so it's not bumpy. I used a bobby pin and I noticed that I had a braid that was hanging out and I just included it in the other three braids. So here is what it looks like. And to secure the braids, I'm gonna use this wig cap that I got from Shein and also included, I had this band and it has texture on both sides. So it's gonna help prevent a lot of moving around from the wig. I'm adjusting the wig cap here and I decided to let some of my natural hair show in case I wanted to style my edges. And here's what one of the wigs look like. And here's the back of the wig and you could see that the back is not bumpy at all. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will be posting my full review of the Shein wigs this week. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed my video and stay safe. I'll see you in my next video.